Barbara, about the practicality of building this yeah. enormous life or lives that you've led. Hundreds and hundreds of students, I'm children, sorry, grandchildren, um, helping, yeah. being a helping hand to Julian and, and both of you having your, your own yeah, sorry, art careers. How did you bring balance to all of that? There wasn't. I told me One day at a time. One hour at a time. It is rich and sometimes you need to reflect and say thank you, but your work. And there's always something else that wants to be done or wants to be realized or wants to be envisioned. How do you set the priorities when there are so many plates spinning at once? I don't know, one thing at a time. You make a judgment in the moment, okay, the kids need it, the grandkids need it, but uh, the garden might need it, or the animals might need it. And, and all, all that, too, on top yeah. of everything else. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's rich, and it's enjoyable, and uh, it's, it's a wonderful challenge, wonderful challenge, that we are still able to do it, because you always know there's an answer to it. And now, and now that you've left uh, teaching as a career, how has that opened up your work in the studio? I mean, all that extra time. I have more time, that's all there is. And, uh, but to a certain degree, I take the students with me, and I hope they take me with them into their life and work. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. <laughs> We're going to do one more. One more I'm just curious how much you attribute to uh, your your time with Joseph Albers. Say it again. I'm just curious how much you attribute uh, in your work to your time with Joseph Albers. That's a very good question. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you why. I can never forget Fran. Even if she gave me B. <laughs> you know, I deserved it. That was honest. You know, she taught me a lot. By her, Mr. Miller, the way she worked, the way she talks, mm -hmm. and so on. She was offering sincerely herself to the students. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So I, Albers did the same. Albers was. She is maternal, she's a female, let's face it. <laughs> you know, and Albers was, I was fighting the Second World War with him, yeah. in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. It was very painful for me to go to the graduate school up at Yale. Hmm. Why? We had no penny. Family existed on this fifty dollars I brought it in with them to the United States. So you are totally destitute, and nobody gives you a job. Okay, I and here I am going to the graduate school up at Yale. Cost money. So. Semester goes by, and every morning I would come into my, to the room, and Joseph would come in from another door to the same room. We would meet on the corridor, and I said, "Good morning, Mr. Albers," and he walks almost through me <laughs> with his blue eyes, just passes me, but doesn't answer, doesn't hear me, nothing. <laughs> So, that goes on for whole semester. And I said, well, I am a pain in his whatever, there <laughs> you know, And I thought, you know, oh, I see the cannons and so on. I hear the noise. It was difficult to overcome. When he was teaching or talking, he mesmerized me as he mesmerized everybody else. He had a fantastic gift of retaining the thought, the 
and sharing it with the student. To some degree, he was totally like, like a, a circus performer. He was 60 some, 65, I believe, when I met him. He would get on top of the chair and yell about something, jump from the chair. <laughs> And he said, ah, oh, boy, to somebody, I know whom, but I'm not going to you know, mention names. You know, the nominal soon to the Yosa. Uh, he said, don't mind that I don't look at it. I'm allergic to blood. <laughs> Criticism of something. I looked at what he's trying to say. He wouldn't be descriptive. But seed, a very potent seed of thought, of, of self-examination. You as a student, you want to examine yourself. What on the hell is this trying to tell us? You know, I would like to, I, I learned that later, there was a, here's one man show in the, Yale Gallery. So I went there before it opening. So I went there so I can be in peace. So I walked from one square to another square to another <laughs> square. Uh, and his and these squares, I would stare at them. And they stare at me. It's almost frightening type of experience. <laughs> It's awesome. It looks like a innocent young children with their wide open eyes looking at you, you know. And they might be ready to ask the question, as they do, you know. And almost we grown ups are almost annoyed. And say, oh, shut up, you know. And, or I said, I don't know if my answer to the child's question. And, and the child would say, why? So in other words, questions you, why don't you know? Right? You're in that position. So those squares, right? that kind of experience I had looking at the damn things. Yeah? And they were awesome. Yeah. The way what he sees color, that is the wavelength of light that emits from the surface of the paint. I wanted to know how he manages to see so much more than I. So as a teacher, he taught me, you ask that question, he taught me to invert and find the answers within myself. Yeah. He was a fantastic teacher. I never met a teacher like him before. Yeah, practice before theory, yes. right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Because at the institute, I'm a graduate institute, institute, many of my colleagues, I love them all, they were beautiful people. <laughs> you ask the question, and they give you, they used to give me uh, uh, someone that arranges, beautifies, how you call it, decorates answers. And that used to give me bad stomach aches. <laughs> you know, I ask, at night when I look at the moon, moon, changes the color and the size. <coughs> and two hours later, changes the color and the size. Why, when it is close to horizon, is different size and different color? Oh, that's the way it is, Julia. <laughs> I didn't get an answer. Took me a while to find out the reason. How do you find it out? By observing, comparing, listening to others to respond. Mm -hmm. One thing one learns
to listen to the ones who are more informed. That's better than any book. You know, if you listen, it comes from the fact to your needs. Yeah. So, hearing is extremely important. Don't lose it because you will be frustrated like I am. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.